Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Gregory Martin, aka The Super Producer, and we're back with another Producer Tips video. Now, before we get into the video, please don't forget to smash that like button, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. It keeps you notified whenever I post a new video, and it also helps the channel grow. And with that being said, let's just jump right into today's topic, film school or no film school. Now, if you've been following the channel for a while, you know that I did not attend film school to start my filmmaking. But this topic came up in a conversation I had recently with a friend of mine who, um, who actually attended film school. And they basically asked me, you know, knowing what I know now, would I have changed my mind and went to film school? I don't regret the decision, but I know early on is one of these things that I was definitely struggling with, uh, whether or whether not to spend that money on film school. Because for the longest time, everyone around me, when I was first, you know, getting into it, was saying that that is really the only way to get in the door is to go to to go to one of these established schools. But as I learned of the perks of going to a institution to learn uh, filmmaking, I also realized that it may not absolutely be necessary to attend film school to get into filmmaking, um, especially nowadays. And after working in film production for the past uh, almost 10 years, I definitely feel that that's the case, that you know, film school is not absolutely needed to enter this field. So in this video, I'm just going to explain why I feel that film school is not needed to become a filmmaker. There are many universities that offer film programs, so it's not tough to find one, but there's definitely a hierarchy in space. There are several schools that definitely mean more than others. For instance, USC, UCLA, NYU, just to name a few. These schools film program are at the top of the food chain. They are notoriously tough to get into with acceptance rates between two to 3%. And by chance you are accepted, the tuition ranges from 40 to $60,000 per semester. So basically if you go there for a full four years, it's gonna run you anywhere from 200,000 to a quarter of a million dollars. And that's not even including the cost of making your thesis film. For $200,000 to $250,000, you could have easily made a feature film, if not two of them. Though these schools cost a fortune, the upside is that if you have these schools on your resume, you're definitely more than likely to get a studio job, work for a management company. Really, the industry opens up for you because you went to these schools. But what about the rest of us who don't want to go in the whole $250,000 to start our working career? How do we get into the club? Well, filmmaking is not an exclusive club. And actually the barrier of entry is not as difficult as you may think it is. Now you may not be hired to direct the next Marvel movie, but there's only a select few that are. I started producing in 2010, 2011, and over that time there's been so many different resources that have been developed, each making the filmmaking process more accessible than the decade before. We now have better and more affordable equipment from your um, your your camera, your digital cameras, your cell phones, uh, your camera rigs, and, and even your editing software, all making the filmmaking process easier. And it's evident because there's thousands of films being made yearly. We have tools like YouTube where we can learn specific skills for specific crafts. There are also various state film internship programs where individuals who didn't go to film school can get onset experience. To find these, all you have to do is do a Google search or just go to the State Film Commission's website and find out the information there. There are also film forums and other websites catering specifically to um, the filmmaking community, like Stage 32, to name one. Um, I, I don't want to go through a list of them because I'm not getting paid to, to list them, but do your Googles and you'll definitely find something that can work for you. Now, even though I'm a strong believer that you don't need film school to become a filmmaker, I would be lying to say that I don't see the advantages and the opportunities that are given to uh, filmmakers who do attend uh, film school, uh, and, and more so the more prestigious schools. The overall conclusion is that if you have a dream of becoming a filmmaker, you know, the next Michael Bay or Steven Spielberg, that dream is definitely not out of reach just because you don't attend film school. Well, that is the video. If you want more content on filmmaking, just go to my producer tips video. I'll put a card up above where you can access the playlist and you can go through, I think I have like 10 or 11 different producer tips from 
um, how to become a producer, how to find the right script, and etc. And the list is ever growing, growing. And if you have a filmmaking topic that you would like me to discuss, just leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to look at it and I may be doing a video on that in the future. As always, if you found the video helpful, please don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys on the next one.